Hello, viewers. Part 16 of international drama, and we have a, a European Championship, a Euros quarter final to play. It's hotting up, folks. Monnier is nearly back from injury. Let's do this. Bonjour. Too late for it, bonjour, really. Should have done it earlier. So, <laughs> I called it a quarter final. It's not. We're not even at that stage yet. We're at the second round. I forget the Euros changed its. It's system, didn't it? Anyway, we play Belgium. Some of the other key ties: Holland, Slovakia. Well, I said, I said key ties: uh, Portugal, Croatia, Italy, Ukraine, uh, Spain, Denmark. Interesting. Denmark of our group. We have to play Spain. Good luck. Uh, Serbia, England, Bulgaria, Germany, and Russia versus Switzerland. Uh, yeah, things are looking all right. Paul Pogba has already got three goals to his name, so he's one of our standout players. Jean Claude, very high up there uh, with the average ratings, as well as Rafael Varane. So. Uh, if you've not been keeping up with the European Championships, we're at the second round stage. I would never get that wrong. Anyway, let's show you the team that we've selected for today's game. So, we're uh, we're sticking with the same formation. We're going to keep this sort of narrow diamond we've got. Uh, it's it's one of the old Swindon Lot formations. If you didn't see the Swindon Lot, well, it's just a formation. It's a, it's a diamond. It's the 4-1-2-1-2 formation. Uh, Jean-Claude at the back with Garnier and Umtiti. Dene is going to play on the left-hand side with Fafana as an anchor man just in front. Emre Shan and Paul Pogba doing the business in the middle. Uh, Arajou uh, playing behind Boulay and Chiron. I've guessed about three names there, but we'll go through it. And Zimmer uh, is in goal too. Now, a few players lacking a bit of fitness, but no matter. Uh, we're playing Belgium. Good side. Probably need to play our starting 11. In fact, do we play on gender? Yeah. Went through all that, just to change it. Pointless. So, here we are then. France versus Belgium. Should be a good game. Uh, let's have a look at their team. This could be quite an interesting side, so I'm intrigued. We're apparently the favourites for the game. No pressure then. Good. So, they've got uh, Lukaku up front. P Plet, is that how you'd say his name? On the left-hand side. Origi on the right. Yanazai in the middle, who has been converted. I think we remember this from uh, our sort of Nations League thing. But Yanazai has been converted to a central midfielder, intriguingly. Uh, or maybe we played Manchester United in the Palmer drama. Yeah, we did that instead. Uh, anyway, let's crack on. This is a big moment for us. Let's apply some instructions to their team let's give a team talk to Ra they're passionate you know this is this is in the national tournament they're going to be loving this on gender seems happy okay the games boom, boom, begin there we have it uh this this looks weird doesn't it let me sorry let me fix this but ignore the game a moment yeah come on then team come on eileen oh come on. i mean that's not the song i wish i knew more french songs that would be more applicable to the situation apart from the marseillaise i'm struggling and as I said before, I don't think the Hello Hello theme tune suits, really. So, we'll leave off. So far, 27 minutes gone, and I've had to talk about the French music industry uh, because nothing's happening. Not a single highlight. Three yellow cards. I mean, this might be the shortest video I've ever made. So, good. Half time. Brilliant. So at half time, nil nil. It's been an end-to-end -end game, thrilling and thrilling. And I think you're uh, you're hooked at this point in the same way that I am. We're only doing one game today. For the rest of the week, they're just going to do one game. Hopefully, progressing through. And now, obviously, if we don't go through at this point, this is the last episode ever of uh, of anything to do with Palmer drama. So, wow, that would be sad. Oh, I thought Palmer drama was over. We've seen the best bits. International drama. Fine, you got me. Oh, chance, potentially, for France. Oh, ball forward, not really put in a dangerous area because they've cleared it quite easily. And now Origi will bring it away. I'm getting so animated by the highlight because it's the first one we've seen. Origi continuing his run forward. Can you find Lukaku in the middle? Yes, but Zimmer is a stronger man and uh, makes the save. We're actually going to change things up. We're going to go more attacking. Uh, we've not had as many shots as the Belgians and I feel like more pressure will, uh, will be good. So we'll do that. I'll also make a change, why not? 20 minutes to go. I mean... Things are hotting up here, people. Uh, Paul Pogba struggling for a bit of fitness. Now, due to my inexperienced selection, we'll call it, uh, we haven't got another central midfielder to bring on. So, shit. What I'm going to do is bring Kingsley Coman on, not because he's a good replacement, but because he is a replacement. And sometimes that's just as good. Come on, team. Monnier's on the bench. He's not fit yet, but in a few games' time, when we make it to the final hopefully then that'd be good Belgium had a lot of chances and we're gonna oh god we don't want extra time no 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 that's that that causes oh sh ha, ha, ha. we have no fitness i have to make changes ben why don't you three at the back <laughs> sure oh actually i'm doing right i'm gonna bring a oh dear what a mess lagarde's gonna come on for on gender i think that might that might fix everything play him as a poacher get him up there on the last man begin begin that was very very official wasn't it begin i'd like that if, if referees started doing that instead of the whistle at the start begin and then maybe they'd have to do it on a speaker like in american football i mean i've gone too far it went way too far put it on a big screen maybe it's like a titatron like in the wrestling begin that'd be good or ring the bell like it no just start 
second. So in that first half of extra time, again, not much has happened. You can tell when not much happens. Can't I just saw bollocks. Coleman out to Jean Claude. Jean Claude now playing in this right wing back role that he's. I don't know if he likes it. We're we're, te- we're doing it. We're testing. We're testing things out. Jean Claude to Garnier forward to Coleman. Maybe a chance now for us to to put some hurt on the Belgians. That we're we're basically we we like the chocolate, but we're trying to hurt them. So. There's not, there's not even a joke there. I don't know why I've said that. Origi coming forward. Belgium with a chance. Belgium, and they oh, But to Yenizai, whose, whose touch is poor, it must be said. Lagarde now. And we're forward. Adajo. I think that's how you say his name. Into the box. To Koeman. One more potentially. Shot on goal. And they shot with the finish. And France are in to the core finals, which I did say at the start that we were already in. And now it's official. I, I don't want to say I, I knew up here. But there we are then. France won. Belgium nil. It's, it's effectively game over. And for it to, I tell you what, for it to be a rebound, it's just so unlikely on Football Manager this year. You just, gosh. Oh, God. I don't want to say I've, I've celebrated too early, old Zimmer. We're going to go defensive. We're going to pretend. We're going to be, what we're going to do now is do some imitation of the Italians and go defensive, which means shutting up the shop. The shop is no longer open. Oh, potentially, though, the Belgian shop is open. They're selling chocolate. Oh, and we nearly had a sniff of the chocolate. This is it's a v- weird episode today. Very weird. Well, I thought the offside was a big deal, and it was. France won, Belgium nil. It, it was an anticlimactic ending, but we'll take it. We are absolutely knackered. Whatever. There we have it. Then we're through. Um, we'll do the draw. I think. I think you deserve to see what happens next. So we'll find out. I don't think they actually do a draw. I think we just get told where we go to. But oh bloody hell, Portugal. They're, they're a decent side, Portugal. I can't imagine Cristiano Ronaldo still playing his trade, but I do think they've got some decent players. Um, who does their best player? Who's their most valuable player play for? Miguel Borba. Good grief. He's out for two weeks. Yes! It's a celebration. I mean, I don't, the fact he's injured is sad, but on the plus side, he's their best player by a mile, and he's, he's not available. So... Borba, see you next season, if we were to do a next season, and thank you for being injured for this. I feel like he's done it intentionally. I feel like there's enough love there between me and Miguel Borba. Anyway, that brings us to the end of the episode. If you've enjoyed today's international drama, it's been a bit different, please leave a like. Let's aim for 200 likes on an international drama. I don't, th- I don't know if you've ever hit it, so come on. If you've not left a like in a while, I'll have a pen at you, a pencil at you, but I lied. So that, maybe not now. We love with care from me, Dr. Benji. Until next time, goodbye. FIFA 16 soon. Pumped. I'm going to say soon well over a month.